That was a bad one. Welcome to Price Plow. Hola Keto World, this is Mike with Price Plow, and today is the beginning of the experiments everyone's been waiting for, the three branch chain amino acids, and then we're going to combine them all and see how they affect my state of ketosis. So we're going to start off with isoleucine, which is a, uh, an amino acid that's both ketogenic and glucogenic. So really curious to see where this ends up. And eventually I might, I'm hoping to be able to make the perfect ratio for maintaining ketosis and uh, we'll see where it's at. So, so this is going to be a uh, mixture of four different videos and this is the first one. So I'd like to thank Nutribio for providing the ultra pure 100% L uh, isoleucine for this video. And uh, we do have the lot number here, but unfortunately, <laughs> but unfortunately, if you go to checkmysubs.com, this one does not have a lab test on it yet. And so uh, we just uh, are going to trust that it is what, it, that what they say it is because this is Nutribio and they go nuts about the uh, internal testing and the third party testing. So anyway, um, let's check uh, where I'm starting at. I'm 15 and a half hours fasted. Initial glucose, 91. That's a little higher than I've been lately, uh, but still within a normal range. Does that mean my ketones will be worse? Oh, 1.4. I'm getting better and better over time with this. Uh, that's exciting. All right, so let's get it started. Like I've said, with all amino acids, we're going to do 5 grams per amino acid because uh, that's typically kind of the, the dose you would take. It's shown to be enough to make a change for gl both glycine and alanine. But normally, yeah, when you take a 5-gram dose of BCAs, you're only getting like 1.25 grams of this one. So let's get it started here. Fresh tub. It actually smells better than leucine smells. All right, let me get five grams weighed out. <laughs> All right, folks, here's what we got, five grams, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not looking forward to this. This is like a really fluffy looking powder, and uh, it smells better than, than leucine, but there's, this might get ugly. All right, let's see what happens here. I gotta get some water ready. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, stop mixing. Oh. All right, um, that, there's worse stuff out there, but that was not pleasant. I'll be back in 45 minutes. I'm going to have to drink a little bit more water. It tastes like, I can't even explain it. It's stale is the best word I got, but I use that word a lot. It's not enjoyable. Okay, time went by pretty quick there. Let's get going. What do you think about the blood sugar? 86, we dropped five points. That's good and more in my normal range at this point. But the thing we're really interested in is the ketone levels here. <laughs> I just realized there's isoleucine on this monitor here. 1.2, 1. 1. wow, okay. So isoleucine, although um, we're gonna of course try again tomorrow, but although it is both glucogenic and ketogenic, seems that a big five gram dose, for me at least, may be more glucogenic than ketogenic, which means that in formulating our perfect BCA ratio for me, I'm probably gonna go lower on the isoleucine and of course higher on leucine, which we're hoping is ketogenic. So uh, let's try again tomorrow and then we're gonna get onto the other two aminos and put together a standard two to one to one ratio BCA and then figure out how to perfect it and how much leucine we're gonna want to outweigh these two. Because typically over the course of time, if I'm at 1.4 and I fast for another hour or so or 45 minutes, uh, I wanna be either at 1.4 or 1.5 because I didn't eat anything else. We'll be back tomorrow. Day two for Isolu. And it's actually two days later. My facial hair doesn't grow this fast. Let's see where my blood sugar's at. All right, 84, pretty normal range. Where will the ketones start today? It's 1.0. All right, cool. Right there, boom, on ketosis. I am, I'm there pretty much. Now let's see if we knock it down again though. 
and I've kind of been dreading this for two days since taking the last bite of this stuff. All right, we got our perfect 5.0 gram spoonful. Oh, no. All right, let's do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was a bad one. Mm. There's got to be a better strategy than that. Oh my, I'm crying. Um, there's still my teeth. Oh, there's a the bad aftertaste too. This stuff's horrible. And we know for a fact that there's going to be worse stuff than this. This is probably mild by that means. All right. Um, man, it's like worse than cardboard. Oh, okay. I'll see you in 45 minutes. I'm going to need more water but only water. 45 minutes have come and gone. Final blood glucose test. 81, actually dropped a little bit there. That's good news, maybe this isn't so bad after all. We started at 1.0 ketones, and here we go. 1.3, wow, okay, so I'm all over the place. It looks like, uh, just like the science says, it's both glucogenic and ketogenic, which I really don't think there's anything conclusive to say about um, about isoleucine, at least, at least for me. And I'm not going to do it for a third day because I think what's most important is that we do a two to one to one and possibly a four to one to one or whatever ratio of branched chain amino acids it takes to get it right. So this actually makes me feel better about the BCA supplements I'm taking because I know that leucine is uh, ketogenic, but I don't know how much because we haven't tested that yet. So that's going to be the next one. And so subscribe to this channel. But um, it looks like the isoleucine isn't at least so bad that it's going to always drop ketone levels or always spike uh, blood sugar. So there might be, there's obviously other factors involved here, but I just sat here drinking just a little bit of water. And so good news on, on isoleucine is the good news is that it's inconclusive. And that's kind of what uh, I was at least hoping for. That was kind of like a best case kind of thing there. But not a best case, but that was a, that was a good acceptable case. And so let's move on to leucine, see what, how that works. Go with valine, see how that works, and then start mixing them together. But right now, I'm already more confident in taking branched chain amino acids while on a ketogenic diet. Um, I still wouldn't take it during your fast. I think you know a fast should be truly a fast, maybe some coffee, uh, black coffee too. But in terms of, of isoleucine, outside of your fast during your workout maybe it's not so bad especially if we put in more leucine than the isoleucine so subscribe stay tuned and we'll be back with more